What's up, LG gang? Okay, many of you guys comment down below on my last video or a couple of videos about being a teen mom, um, being with a teen mom, and being raised by a teen mom. So, a lot of you guys had questions, um, so we're here to answer them. All right, you ready, baby? Sure. All right. All right, Ethan. All right, okay, the first one is from at Dancing for His Glory. And I did put like the shout outs on who asked and things of that nature so you guys will know. And if you're watching, which I know you guys are, um, you'll get your answers that you want. Okay, the first one is at Dancing for His Glory. It says, now that you have a teen, how do you allow her to have her freedoms without being too strict? I guess I'll just start on this one. You can. Here we go. It's earned freedom. It's not a matter of me being strict. It's not a matter of me being hard. It's earned freedom. You've earned it either by grades, your personal rapport, or just doing random things. Yeah. But it's never just given. The problem with these with a lot of kids nowadays is they've lived okay. this age of entitlement where they feel they're owed something just because they're here. Yeah. And what we tend to forget is we brought you here. You didn't come here on your own with no stork to drop you off. We brought you here. So therefore your entitlement is you being able to breathe every day. So everything else is a privilege and you have to earn that. It's just like respect. Yeah. Yeah. And for me, I think, I mean, like he was saying, I'll tag along to that. Like your freedom has to be earned. Like if you're not like if Kelly wasn't making good grades or passing her classes or striving to be the best in whatever endeavors that she's involved in, you know, I wouldn't let her. I mean, I would let her have fun, but very strict limits. It'd be like, going to Bay around this boy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like he was saying, like, Kelly's a very good kid. Like, we don't really go through much, like the average teen stuff. And I, don't, I mean, what what is the average teen stuff? You know what I'm saying? But we don't really have to worry about much. And I'm a firm believer, like, what's done in the dark always comes in the light. And I believe in karma. So my thing is, is if she's doing something that we don't know about, we will find out. Like, it's been proven in the past. Like, she has done things and she hasn't told us, but we've always known within a week, you know. So we have great parent friendships with her friends. So I think that helps a lot. Um, we communicate great with her parents or the friends of her parents. So I think too that helps a lot, and we the have a good of her friends. the parents of her friends, yes, and we have a great communication stem with Kelly and I, and then Mike and Kelly or the kid and Kelly, or and and Mike and I have a good relationship on talking. That's what those late night conversations are about. Like we try to figure out what's the next step as parents and what the next step is in marriage. What's the next step as just being an individual, yo? Know, so. I would say that part. Um, the second one is from at Jess, or sorry, at Just Jess. Um, it says, "Does your teen has a cur does your teen have a curfew?" Yes. Yes, she does. We just don't let her run around like a rugrat out in the streets. Like no, she does not do that at all. But um, weekdays, Monday through Thursday, it's ten o'clock. Yes. She goes, her bedtime is at 11. Um, but she never really hangs out Monday through Thursday. Like, she's always in the house after she gets out of school or after she gets out of practice. Or if she has to work, she gets out like 9 or 10. And when she gets home, she's dead. Like, she's sleeping. So she don't get much freedom, I guess, or much teen time Monday through Thursday. Now, Friday, Saturday, her curfew's midnight. But again, she don't really go out like that you know and if her curfew's midnight at the house then her curfew's midnight wherever else she's at unless us as parents 
and then the friend of her parents both agree on what's going on, you know. So, and neither, her, her nor her friends hang out like that, so we don't really have to worry about that. But if so, we'll find out. Same question. No. Same answer. No, or on yes. Sundays, Sundays, it's like 10 because she has to go to school the next day. And, like, whether she has school or not, like, whether the school is in or not, she still has the same curfew, so it doesn't really change. Okay. And then, another question is, at its Shaz, or at its Shays, one of those, excuse me if I said it wrong, it says, have you openly talked about sex and or protection with your teen? Have you? I don't know if you... We've had many conversations. And I, don't I don't think mean you... Many. I mean, like, many conversations. Well, you but and Kelly? But we're very, when I talk to her, it's very specific. Now, talking openly and things about that, yeah, I've always talked about the protection part. But outside of that, and I'll, honestly, I have a daughter, so I allow her mother to be that person. Yeah. And then for me, I've been talking to Kelly about sex since she was, that I, since I can remember and like there was a it was a was it the American Girl books? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Michael's um mother introduced me to American Girl book series and I think there's like 6 to 8 of them. I think it's like from toddler all the way up to young adult. I think it it's that broad. But um I introduced when she gave me those books cuz she said that um she introduced her daughter to those which is the kid's sister. Um, and it went very well. And I seen how her, his sister kind of grasped on life and her hygiene and, uh, brushing her teeth and break with have braces. And after you sweat, you know, you clean up as a girl, things like that. So I knew that she was on that right track, you know, his sister. So I was like, Hmm, that'd probably be perfect since I am, I, I am a teen mom or I was a teen mom or whatever. That'd be something to introduce to my daughter. So with that being said, she just, Gave me the books, and I started, I think, what well, Kelly was like five or six when we introduced those books to her. And at that time, Kelly could read because Mike would teach her, wouldn't let the schools just teach her. We would just go through it or whatever. But, um, yeah, like we followed those, and it taught her hygiene, it taught her about, you know, sex. And with me being in the medical field, I got down and dirty like, this is what you do, this is what you do, this is what you could get. You could get, you could get something that you couldn't even get rid of, things like that. All right, and then it's from, at it's Shaz again. Now that you have a teen, what do you do to keep her focused? You want to answer that one? I'm going to switch because I want to sit right here. Here we go. There. Pretty much, it's the same things we've always done. We have her set goals for herself. We set goals for her, some that she knows about, some that she doesn't. Yeah. And we reward and we provide consequences as needed. It's not so much of us keeping her focused. It's us making sure that she's ready to get out and be there in life. And that's been our real motivator in trying to keep her focused is we let her know constantly. We are preparing you for life. We yeah. are preparing you for life after us. And that's all it really takes. Yeah. Now, as far as like grades and stuff, you can't come in my house with certain things. So therefore, that keeps her focus alone. Good, good, good. All right. And then it says, do you ever get nervous or scared that your teen will be a teen mom? I know I do, like, because I've experienced it before. So if you are a teen mom out there, just comment down below and answer this question too with me. But I know that I was nervous. I was scared. I'm still nervous and scared. Although she's a really good kid, you know. And she has not experienced any of that yet. Things happen, you know. Really so good kids mess up too. Yeah, really good kids mess up too, or really good kids, kids, you know, get involved in different things. But to, so answer that yes. But that's why we do try to keep her focused and busy and involved in the right things. So, do you get nervous or scared? No. No? Why? I don't feel like, honestly, mm -hmm. I feel like 
throughout all this time, we've taught her enough that she understands the repercussions of her actions. Yeah. And the goals that she set for her own life, she won't allow anything to disrail her from that. And as long as she has the drive in herself to push herself, yeah, there's very little that we have to do as far as me being nervous or scared about her becoming a teen mom. Now, you graduate and you make a mistake or a slip up, I'm still not nervous or scared because I know who you I know who you are. I know where you yeah. came from and I know what you're going to be. And she knows that she will constantly and always have help. So that's my answer. High five. Good job. Group. Yeah, like he was saying, I, she just, I really ensure that she knows her self worth, her worth as a young lady, her work as a black young lady. And I'm not trying to take away from any other race here, but just knowing, you know, and then being self aware. Being self-aware of your surroundings, being self-aware of who you surround yourself with, things like that. And the great thing, and I'm not sure if the person that asked this question um, really meant it like this, but this is kind of how I took it. Like the great thing compared to my situation as being a teen mom versus how Kelly is. Like me, and I'm not knocking anybody that helped raise me. Woo shout out. But the thing is, is that I really didn't have... I had guidance but no direction type thing, if that makes sense. I had guidance. I had people instilling guidance in me, but they wouldn't give me any direction how to go about it, you know. So with Kelly, she has myself, she has the kids, she has people in her circle that's actually guiding her and giving her direction. So I think with that all those all that ability and all that knowledge right there will not stop her from doing the things that I've done or may or may not have done but she would at least she I know that she would think about it and think strongly about it so i guess the the answer to that is that you really can't as a parent you really can't say well this is what i do 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 to make sure she doesn't do that you really at the end of the day just have to have faith like she is doing what she's supposed to be doing and that, or that she's using the tools that you gave her, you know? One of the biggest things I think that is different in me raising my child versus how I was raised, I'm, I really work hard not to be a hypocrite. I'm not going to get on you for something that I know I did as a kid or that I was in the wrong doing. Right. When you're in the wrong when I can talk to you or teach you instead of just trying to get on you. Right. So that taking that out of it kind of helps. And some things that we do, most people wouldn't agree with, but it works for us and it works for our child. There are some things that we let her try that most people won't understand, but yeah. we have to let her try that because, like I said, I teach you how to know your own your own ability, yeah. how much you can take, how much you can deal with, how much you can just hold in before you just got to let it all out. Yeah. So we do a lot of training, but the thing is it didn't start when she became a teen. We've been doing this since she was little, like three. We've been, we've been doing this since the beginning. Yeah. It's always been something to prepare her for that next level. We've never stopped doing that. Yeah. So, guys, that was all of the questions. Sorry, I just burped. Mm -hmm. The ah! <laughs> it didn't stink. I did Did it stink? Huh? Did it stink? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, guys. If you have more questions or comments for us. Put it down below. Brian Gum. Comment down below. Like and subscribe. Brian Give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys for all your great questions Bring your and advice. And too. Yes. Tag them along. Thank you for riding on this journey with me. I love you guys. Until next time. Peace out.